Good morning, students of Abbott Elementary. My name is Dr. Umar, and I will be your new kindergarten professor. Umar, do you like my new shoes? Boy, that old Dr. Umar is something else. But listen, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Nico Williams. We are here for a special. We are going over the season review, season one review of Abbott Elementary. And I got to say that this this show was such a delight. It was such a pleasure. I was happy to go along the ride, go along for the ride with like the characters that we got to meet. And, um, you know, as 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 I'm going through this and I'm, a, you know, in a sense, make this quick for you now. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be reviewing the season. But at the same time, I think the emphasis on is on how we got to know these characters and how they evolved throughout this 11 episode season might have been 13 forgive me i didn't do a very good job of doing my homework because i'm a bad journalist but that's okay uh so let's get straight let's get started so uh we got to start off with our main character Jan janine tease now janine she's a second grade teacher at abbott this is her second year being at abbott uh she came in along with uh jacob the one of the other teachers the sixth grade teacher she came in at the same time as him we'll get into him later but uh you know she came in and she just wanted to do so much for the kids in the school mind you she's played by uh kinta brunson by the way my bad uh got to give you your credits uh but this is also written by her by the way so she's written by miss janine tees aka kinta brunson but i i enjoyed watching because because she reminded me a lot of you know me or it could remind a lot of people that just care about people so much you care about them and it just seems like what you do is just never enough for everybody else or you feel like you're doing something because nobody else cares and as we go along through the season she tries to assert herself in different ways and it turns out like you know she's a young teacher but it turns out her asserting herself turns out to be in like the wrong way or or at the wrong time. She chooses the wrong time to assert herself. Uh, so like, say, for instance, you know, as we as we got into the season, we know that Principal Ava, she is what she is. But. While she was just trying to say, you just selfish, Ava, you don't care about the kids, blah, 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 because Ava did show out a couple of times. You know, she 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 put that wig on, handled her business. Now she slayed there. But. Why, when she asserted herself to ava in regards to they had like a step a step show they was trying to do for the kids and you know what and whatnot for like an after school activity and i guess i guess so uh janine was a stepper you feel me but you know obviously ava was like no nah, i'm a stepper um so she made a routine and but she was like no nah, i can't do it and it's like there she go ava being selfish again what ends up happening ava's been caring for her grandma i went on vacation to actually help my my grandma with her living situation and we got to we got to delve into her life a little bit but she asserted her but janine asserted herself at the wrong time so this whole time she's trying to learn how to assert herself and something that she was super big on doing which was like mad cringe she 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 would project she would project her like randomly like at least once or twice a show she would project like some of her childhood like insecurities or some of her childhood issues like uh, i believe there was an issue with her being the adult in her house because her mom wouldn't be um there was times there's times with her boyfriend where she kind of projects how she feels about him into what's going on at school like you know what since Tariq, who's played by uh what's that boy name zach fox or whatever that dude he, he's a funny rapper i can't believe he pulled that character off because his subject matter actually he doesn't have subject matter he just raps and they're funny but it is what it is dude's funny though but she projects that into her issues at work her issues with her boyfriend she she does that with the people in their situations that she's doing at work so it's like you know what i'm gonna make time for it right now since nobody else is making time you know like that's a direct hit at her boyfriend but and we noticing that she does that at school but there's a lot of different times when she does that and she did that in this in this season finale uh, where she projected onto to, to my homeboy malcolm 
and about her boyfriend and moving and being uncomfortable and it kind of turned into a lesson for the little kid but it was a lesson for her and it hit home so like she's always it always seems like she's always giving herself a speech you know what i'm saying and that's cool we ain't mad at that but um i i, I loved her development over i mean it, it just literally became is it's it, almost michael scottish it's almost michael scottish but like getting in your own way trying to do what's right because you know you feel like this is the right thing to do and nobody cares enough you know something you know in life sometimes people won't care about things more than you but i gotta say it happens and you can't do your best but sometimes man you just gotta relax and let it happen um next up let's let's get into to, to the new teacher gregory played by uh, tyler james williams you might know him from everybody hates chris it couldn't have saying that at a better time uh man weird that they should definitely win an award for this but um he comes in he's supposed to be the principal at this he was supposed to he actually got the job of being the principal for abbott elementary now this is taking place in philadelphia by the way but it got the job offer got rescinded because they had to give it to who ava but we'll get into that in a second but um he never knew about that but he's just like he's just like this straight up and down kind of guy routine guy you know he doesn't go outside of his box he's like the boiled chicken sandwich every single day and he's like really like just straight up and down like his classroom is not decorated with anything like it's just plain he's just a plain guy i guess but uh you know principal Ava got a thing for him though but it is what it is but he's going through his own growth and stepping out of his box just like janine's doing there might be different like janine might be the super bubbly one but he's the like sit back chill you know let's get to a to b as quick quickly as we can get to a to b so that was that was his his development at one point he found out how ava got the job and that threw him off because he obviously does not respect principal ava in that way i'm sure there's a level of respect there but he's like man i could be a better principal um but he ended up getting into a situation where uh i, I he, he when he found that out he just gave it all up he just gave it all up he was done he was like i'm i'm cool off of all of this i, I you know what i don't i don't it doesn't make sense to care because principal ava seemed like such a carefree person and she didn't care so that's where we was at with that and um but i enjoyed it i enjoyed watching his development he ended up getting a little girlfriend and all that and so it is what it is actually the the girl his little girlfriend is uh barbara barbara's daughter and i'm gonna tell you like this here she looks some good but it's it's but i'm telling you it's giving me um what's that girl name that jim was jim was dating what's her name uh i can't even think of what her name is man um but you know karen so it's like jim and karen so like you know he's super uptight guy every single day thing and i don't his girl's trying to get him to do stuff like he had clam chowder and he thought it was awful they kind of alluded to it earlier in the show and then it was like yeah yeah he just this is who introduced him to clam chowder yesterday and now he's eating again he doesn't like it but he's scared to tell shorty he didn't like it so that's something to watch for Let's get into Principal Ava, though. Let's get into Principal Ava, man, played by Janelle James. And, you know, you know, Miss James, we might got a little thing going on. I don't know. You know, we, you know, I appreciate you tweeting me back. You feel me? But, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, um, Ava, she comes off as like the inept principal, like, and she's just out here just running around being a principal, you know. She basically does what she wants to. She gets funding and uses it for things that, like, for her like she just don't like it, it comes off as she doesn't care but um as we get down the line we do find out she does care her job was actually on the line at one point and she pulled up and she said some stuff that made sense like yeah i use some of the school funding to make sure lotion is around the school because kids get made up for being ashy me coming from a predominantly black school man yeah being ashy is something you don't want to be so making kids feel better coming to school like there's different ways to be a principal or be a leader like you don't have to be the straight edge person like, you're you're going to the dean's office you're gonna you know you don't have to be that you can actually make a difference and making difference in the people like like 
by allowing people to have access to things that maybe they typically don't have at home. You know, maybe she going in, boy, brush your hair, you know, stuff like that. Like, you need that, you, you, you know, keeping yourself together because they are kids. And, you know, getting up and rolling out of bed, a lot of kids probably would, wouldn't mind doing that, but you got to brush your teeth, keep mints around the school, stuff like that. But so she handled her business there. And it does turn out she has a heart. As I, as I said earlier, you know, she she works out and helps her grandma out and stuff like that. She graduated from college. Uh, she's definitely a soror. So, you know, they ain't say what it was yet, but she's um, in that. So we, we love her. And she's funny as hell. Like my favorite part, my favorite part of the, uh, uh, of like my favorite scene of hers, which there's a lot of good scenes she's in. But this artsy chick came and was like trying to be the art teacher or whatever, um, volunteer or whatever. And. Zahar, that was her name, Zahar. She came up there, and they was trying to get, talk her into doing something. And then Janine goes in there, she's like, hey, Ava, can we get this? And Ava's just, like, looking at her book. She's like, mm. And then, uh, then Zahar said, Ava, honey, I was just wondering. And then she was like, and she looked so serious, like, looking at her. That was so funny. That was a good scene. She is funny. Um, I liked her from episode one. Um, I mean, I don't know if, how much growth of characters like she really has to have in this show i think she's just fine as a comedic as the comedic relief the silly principal um we seen her we seen her uh in the leopard and animal print up to that zoo i see but we saw her up there doing her thing man and she she just you know she's a she's a bubbly fun personality she is what she is everything she says is pretty much funny so i love it she does stand up i didn't know that until then and i'll listen to her stand up and she's she's funny as hell so much love man uh, let's get to Melissa Shimanti. Uh She's played by Lisa Ann Walter. You might know her from The Parent Trap, uh, but she's another second grade teacher. And apparently, she's repping she's repping South Philly to the T. And I, I gotta be real with you, man. Like she might have a. They should follow her life outside of Abbott Elementary because it sounds like it's popping. Like she's always into something. She knows so many people. She got the plug on somebody. And if she don't know nothing else, she know a guy. Do you hear me? So we love, we love, we love, uh, we love Melissa, man, for sure. And she ended up being, you know, a, a quote unquote a backhanded mentor to Janine. Like she just keeps she the she's the keep it real type of type of one. It's like she's the in your face. This is what you need to know and this is how you need to handle that going forward. She's that type of like mentor. She got her own stuff going on, but she's got the she got the experience. She's like, yo, you tripping about stuff that you, we can't change right now. But she's so used to it and she's so set in her ways in a sense that Janine, she was a breath of fresh air in a sense. She's like, yeah, you know, I was like that. And she's like, you know, you think we don't care about these kids? Well, this ain't just a job. We care about these kids. And yes, we want to give them the world. But girl, look, we ain't got the funding. We don't have this. We don't have that. So we work with what we got. And 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 so I mean, she keeps it real and it is what it is. So we 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 love it. But she, I gotta say, I thought she was gonna try Janine that one day, like, cause Janine tried her. You know, she they I guess they got Yelp reviews uh, on one of the episodes and um and Janine took it bad because she got a bad review. Probably somebody was like, "Man, she she too bubbly or something, something like that." And um, you know, they was just picking with her, you know, just playing. But you know, Janine took it serious, like, "Nah, man, yo, these, these people really don't think I'm a good teacher." Okay, so she she got the one of the gifted ch children. They got transferred to her class, to Janine's class, and so Janine says, oh, "I guess I'm the superior teacher." And Melissa, I thought she was about to slap her up across the head, but she didn't. She's like, all right, she's going to learn. Let her, she's an OG, and I love that feeling. They gave them two, she, they gave Janine some OGs to, to, to look at and, and to learn from. And they let her slide and get away with stuff, and they understand. But I bet, like, when they was younger, yeah, Melissa would have got, Melissa would have got on her ass for sure. Um, but I, I, she is, she, as far as character development goes, I mean, she is what she is. She's kind of like a, like another comedic, um, relief, but she got a little storyline. She dating, uh, the vending machine guy. So we'll see how that, we'll see how that works out. Um, man, we got to get to Jacob, man. Jacob is a sixth grade teacher. He's the, Ooh, I hate to say this, but you know, he's like the token white guy and we don't hear that. We don't hear that often, but, um, He's a good character. Um, he's smart. He knows a lot of things. He's a little overbearing as a personality. Um, 
I would hang with him. I would hang with him for sure. Like I like people that that are very smart and they know a lot of random trivia cuz I soak that in and be like, "Yo, I'm I okay, I know this. Jacob taught me that." Um we don't know much about his life outside like, except for he went to like Africa or went on some kind of mission trip and then we found out later on in the show that he's dating Zach. Now, we here's a big part about Jacob's personality or his character. His character is important because he's basically Janine's best friend at school. Like they best friends. They both somewhat feel like the outcast and they rock together like that. Now, I would say Jacob doesn't know that he's an outcast. He doesn't he doesn't carry himself like that. But man, he just he's just so full of knowledge and 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 he just he just he rocks to his own beat. But we found out that he has a boyfriend later on, but we didn't know that. Because he didn't expose that to Janine because he didn't want to speak about his relationship because then he would have had to speak on Janine's relationship and now Janine is dating uh Tariq who's played by Zach Fox and Zach hey, hey, listen man Tariq is doing the best that he can he, he's trying to be an up-and-coming rapper he's trying to do his thing and he, he he got to be at the end of this final episode he got to become a uh what do you want to say he got to become the head rapper for the don't do drugs rapping circuit and move to New York and perform in New York all the time and whatever. But that's, that's a thing, but also a key part to, to, to note about Janine and, and Tariq is the fact that that that's all Janine know. What they say, they've been together since sack lunches. She don't know nothing else, but Tariq, when it comes to men and other people she should be with. And my favorite part of the episode was when he said, you know, I'm, I'm a feminist. That's why I let you pay for everything. <laughs> I didn't see that line coming, but I busted out laughing because that's some that's some funny stuff. But we got into that. That was cool. But, you know, going back to that situation, they kind of, Janine and Jacob, they 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 carpool in one day to reach took the car or whatever blah 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 um and he didn't he did he he took note of what's going on in the relationship but the thing is he said i never told you about my relationship with zach because i didn't want to have to i didn't want to i didn't want to open the door for me to speak on your relationship man that's some real homie stuff right there but you know it is what it is but we'll keep an eye on it i love zach i love i love jacob's uh uh partner He's funny, bubbly. He's a, a sneakerhead. Um, nah, I ain't no sneakerhead, but it's, it's just his passion for sneakerheadness is is amazing. And he seems to be like a very smart person, like a, a, a Jacob. I'm, I feel some uneasiness in Jacob, especially when they were singing "Wheels on the Bus Go Round and Round." I was feeling a little uneasiness about. Uh, it just like you know, he just was like kind of sitting back. And then I've also heard Zach, even though he's like all smiles and stuff like that. Like he, 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 he seems maybe controlling or maybe overbearing to Jacob even. So, man, that's something we got to keep, keep an eye on. And our last person is the lovely Miss Barbara Howard, Cheryl Lee Ralph, if you will. That's who plays Barbara uh, or Miss Howard, if you will. She's a kindergarten teacher. She's been a kindergarten teacher for 30 years. And she is the she so her main character is to be the mentor and just like Janine, the person that calms Janine down and, and brings Janine back to Earth and bring everybody back to Earth because she been done did this. This ain't nothing new. You lose a kid and in, in, in 1980 is the same thing as losing a kid in 2022. She's just saying, you know, she's been there and she knows what to do. She stays calm in every situation. And we love it. She's very religious. She's very proper. And Janine wants to be just like her. And that is okay, I guess. But that was one of the cringe moments when Janine was like, you know, is this the part where you say, you know, you're like a daughter to me? Man, bless her spirit. And I think that might be a, a, something that they explore in next season or even a season after that is what's going on with Janine and her mom? What's, what are we about to look at? What are we about to see? What are we going to see from Janine's mom? What if she's not what we think she is? Maybe just because Janine is so Janine 
that maybe her mom's not even that bad and maybe it's just a whole thing of like yo she just needs to relax and another thing i wonder she says janine says something about her breathing and everybody notices it like she's always breathing heavily what if that's something we need to be watching for because that could be foreshadowing for something else so i would just say keep that keep that in the back of your mind because you know i'm smart like that you know what i'm saying um, but at the end of the day, man, uh, Miss Howard, she's keeping it together. Her only thing is, is like, man, am I getting too old for this? Am I tired of teaching? And, you know, that brings me to my closing point. Who I am and what I want to do in life, I just want to touch the most people that I can in a positive way, in a way that they can take something from me and they can go on about their life and do the best thing that they can. And, 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 and so that people can take something from me and never forget it and when they get in those down times and when they get on those and, and when they get in those slumps they can remember you know that thing that joe said or joe did for them so that they don't give up hope because hope can be a very fleeting thing especially in the world that we live in you know people want instant gratification uh some people are working as hard as they can and just not quite getting there People are hurt. But one thing I do know is everybody went to first grade. Everybody. Everybody goes to second grade. And this show made me realize how much I I would love to be a teacher. Because that's where it starts. Creating a better world and a better place. It starts with the educators. And educators have such an important job because they're shaping blank cam canvases. That's what they do is shape blank canvases. If you're a teacher, it's not about making sure they had the best grades and all that stuff. Yes, you're supposed to make sure that they learn the material, but you got to understand that you're dealing with people and you're dealing with humans. You're dealing with people that will become adults one day, people that will become uh, fathers, mothers, husbands, wives, partners, you're dealing with people that may become politicians, become, you know, and they're all molded right there in elementary school. Your outlook on everything else, a lot of it is right there in elementary school. Educators have such a very important job, and I believe that, and I don't think they're giving enough credit for it. So with that being said, this episode, this season of Abbott Elementary was absolutely amazing. I left out of each episode with something. Each episode made me feel something. And that's what it's all about. So, that being said, this has been another episode of Do You Hear Me? Mm -hmm. With Nico Williams. I holla. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. Don't forget, every Thursday, the full podcast is on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Mama, I'm on Spotify. Overall 99 ENT bring you videos from Friday all the way to Friday. So be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. Again, thank you so much. I holler.